Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. A few weeks ago I released a video that showed what happened when 6 foot 8 inch 140 kilogram Martin Ford aka The Nightmare came face to face with 6 foot 2 inch 138 kilogram Sajid Garabi aka The Iranian Hulk who was to be his opponent for a celebrity boxing match that was set to take place on the 2nd of April. Tensions appeared to overflow at their first face to face meeting leading to Martin pushing the Hulk who lost his footing and fell. Sujet was quickly back to his feet but looked shocked and bemused, and this combined with embarrassment led to him making a rather poor attempt at a takedown a few moments later. Following that video, I saw several comments doubting Sajed's claimed height and weight. After their encounter, Sajad experienced a huge backlash through social media, even from his fellow Iranians, which prompted him to release the following Instagram video. ما فقط حتی من با کفش ورزشی هم نایمده بودم با لباس ورزشی هم نایمده بودم اومدم بعد اون فیس تو فیس به صورت قافل گیرانه مارتین به من The following day the athletes met at a pre-fight press conference where it initially appeared that things again became heated I'm ready 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 but shortly afterwards a full video of the incident was released that painted a very different picture of events and brought into doubt the events of the athlete's earlier encounter. <laughs> A few days later, Sajad Garabi appeared on national TV, where he made numerous claims about his treatment, mental health and accusations against Boxstar. He said that he was deeply ashamed of the events that took place in Dubai, had no money, had been sick and barely eaten. He had been deceived by the promoters who he believed set up the actions that took place. When he was asked about the press conference that took place the following day, he claimed that he was not joking around. He was very angry and wanted to punch Martin, but was told he would face charges in Dubai and be disqualified from the fight. Sajad went on to say that he couldn't talk to his family because they were ashamed of him and it essentially disowned him. He was suffering from mental health issues and couldn't sleep without pills. He promised to make them and the Iranian people proud by sending Martin Ford out of the ring on a stretcher. On the 10th of March, Boxstar announced that the event had been rescheduled to the 30th of April due to one of the fighters on the undercard suffering an injury. There has been a date changed, 30th of April. Same venue. Same opponent, same result. <laughs> Just gives me more time to repair, to become faster, stronger, sharper, more powerful. Believe me, a lot's happened, a lot's been said. It hasn't changed one thing, and that's the fact. That I'm a natural competitor and I want to win and I will want to prove a point to many people. Now, he has been given the option to back out. He does not want to back out. He's 100% adamant he wants this fight. So trust me, there'll be no going easy. There'll be no soft fight. He knows exactly what he's getting into now. 
and uh, April the 30th. It'll be nice to remember. See you there. Martin Ford arrived in Dubai on the 17th of March, where he stayed for several days to support Eddie Hall in his up-and-coming boxing match against Hatfor Beyonson. During this time, Sajad arrived in Dubai and posted the following message on Instagram. <laughs> On the 4th of April, Martin Ford made the following announcement. Okay, afternoon guys, this is a statement that I didn't want to have to release, but unfortunately, April the 30th, my fight is going to be postponed. Um, the event is still on, Boxstar is still on. It's just my fight, okay? Now, for all those who have tickets, um, there is a link below and there will be more information on how you can go about that. But like I said, the event will still go, still go ahead and there's some great people and some great fights on. Unfortunately, mine won't be one of them for reasons out of my control. Um, it doesn't take a genius to figure them all out. I don't want to go down the route of talking about it. Too much time, too much energy has been wasted. For me, personally, I'm still here. I'm still training hard. There will be a debut, there will be a fight. I'm just not 100% sure who, when, or why. <laughs> but it will happen. And uh, there will change there. Thank you. I'll speak to you soon. The announcement led to some channels speculating that Sajad Garabia pulled out of the fight. But these assumptions were soon squashed when Sajad released a video the following day, in which he stated that Martin Ford doesn't want to fight him or any other fighters. He didn't cancel the fight and it's against the contract for fighters to do so. He is talking to his legal team and will make an official complaint to Boxstar. On the 8th of April, Sajad released another video accusing Martin Ford of being a coward. <laughs> On the 10th of April, Boxstar posted on Instagram for the final time that they had regrettably postponed the entire show, stating that the reason for this was due to the loss of the headline event. As for the real reason the fight was cancelled, in my opinion there are two trails of fault. The first is the fight was cancelled on the grounds of mental health. After Sajad broke down on national TV, claiming that his family were not talking to him anymore, and he was suffering from mental health problems and couldn't sleep without taking pills. The second reason could be due to Sajad Garabi's manipulation of photos and videos to portray himself as a 400 pound Hulk instead of the 300 pound out of shape individual who showed up to the press conference. And this caused a huge amount of negative publicity for Boxstar and Sajad and what was seen as a mismatch. But I'd like to hear your opinion, so please leave a comment below letting me know why you believe the fight was cancelled. I've left credits as well as Sajad and Martin's social media links in the description below, so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please help to support my channel by pressing like, leaving a comment, and if you haven't done so already, subscribing. Thank you.